Hey guys, what is up? Come on in. Welcome to Off Grid Lightworker. What is going down? Here is your social media read, guys. What is going on on their social media compared to what's happening? Let's tap into the energies. Um, you know what you're seeing. You know what it, you're going to feel if something triggers you. You're going to feel if something's true or not. Take what resonates. Only a part of the story may. But as I say always, we will own it over here because there's no sense in trying to get a spiritual lesson out of one of these readings and not owning it. Okay? So let's go. Let's dig into something. What do we want to start with? Let's start with the messages. Okay? We're going to get a little brutal here first. I don't know. I find some of these to be brutal. It's okay. I'm using them more and more because it seems that people like them more and more. So... Let's do this. I am. I'm filming like this. I'll show you guys the cards, but I'm in between reads right now. And I was like, let's go do that social media. Like we said, we're gonna. So let's go. Led by God, guided by you, spirit. You guys, my, my uh, cross watcher heavens are up. My morning, Monday morning fills. I'm doing morning shorts every morning. Please subscribe. I'd love you to be a part of this. I'm learning so much from you. Yes, it's too late. Okay. So somebody's feeling that. Love by God, guide by your spirit. Oh, thank you. Last one out. Let's do this. Yep. Just chilling today. <laughs> I don't know why I said that to you guys. Maybe you are too just... Whatever is whatever today. I stayed in my pajamas the other day. And I only do that like once a week ever. It's, otherwise, I get right up and I get dressed. Let's go. It's what is on... What is the collective looking at on social media? Does it add up to what's really happening in their person's life? Their friend, their family, their boss, whatever it may be. You pick what resonates. Not me. If you want a personal read, please reach out to Powered by the Moon 7 at gmail.com. It's in the description box. I'd love to read you. If you feel something clicks and you need more guidance on it or it's more for yourself. Okay. I'm happy that it's over. Thank you for leaving me. I hope I will see you again sometime. How can I help you? In that moment, I didn't care. Okay. So guys, it seems like they've done something and you found out and you left. It made them happy. They may want to put more closure or help you in some way to putting closure to this. Um, you may have asked for help and they didn't care at that time. They do hope to see you again soon. They hope that you could close this out, though. And they are happy it's over. And I think at the beginning of this video, I saw that. Or it's too late. And take this as it resonates. It may be something that, you know, you didn't care about in the moment. And they left, in, you know, you, they left you. And you take it as it resonates. But I'm reading their energy, so... I don't know. Let's do this. Led by God, guided by you, Spirit. What is going on? What is in the energy of the person the collector is the collective is viewing? What is different from their social media compared to what they are seeing? They're feeling pretty damn confident, a little heartbroken, but they're feeling less codependent on this. I'm feeling. Do this. Thank you. Last one out. I haven't used my vice versa in a very long time. But I was called to, so let's do it. I love when spirit takes me back to old decks that I loved. <laughs> what is in the energies? Let's go. Uh, yeah, they're not communicating right now. And if they are, it's a nasty communication. See, that's a nice communication action. 
this is not such a nice communication. They may not be being nice on their social media. I feel people are making digs. You guys see that? It's not reverse. So there's, they're in this about their social media. I don't feel they're making uh, fair statements. They're not being nice on their social media, and they're not caring in that moment. I think that's why they don't care in that this moment right now. You know, they got their back turned towards you with their pinnacle looking somewhere else. Why is this person? being kind of weird and nasty okay they may have some regrets okay so there was drama that um you know really took place here it's out in the light which i believe they're putting it on their social media and playing a victim and you know not being so nice because they have some regrets or they regret something that they didn't care about clearly Five of Pentacles. There's change here too. Fives of change, guys. I got a double fives here. Wow, they're not being nice on their social media, are they, guys? I'm not a social media read yet where I didn't say, oh, guys, well, they're just kind of sitting there and not doing much. If you look at the bottom of the deck here, I got this guy, you know, sitting in his nine of swords. And on this side, because it's vice versa, I got two bottoms of the deck. I got this guy coming out of the Ten of Swords. So, I mean, there was a completion, there was an end. They, or you are trying to come out of your Nine of Swords, okay? You will, you already went through the Ten. So that's a completion of betrayal and, you know, you may have felt defeated and, all right, yep, well, this person has the Moon card, so, they're disillusioned on social media. They're not acting right. I can see. In this way. But they're not being right. But I think that they're coming to their senses, being that it's the reverse side. They may be coming to their senses on the f and looking at things, you know? They're in denial of what their workings were, what they did. Um, they may feel that um, things weren't working out. The, the foundation crumbled. But if you see this guy, like, he's literally doing it himself. So it may have been something self-imposed. Somebody self-imposed, maybe um, self-sabotage. But that's the Five of Pentacles there in the moon. This is very well uh, self-sabotage of something they didn't believe that can work that can't, could have. And now they're sitting in some regret. So now they're being nasty. Of course. Two of Wands. So see, you're looking, they're looking out. They're trying to find their way through that valley. They do want to get to the other side of it. They're just having a difficult time deciding how, you know. They're not even looking at it in a bright, positive way. Everything seems to be coming out very on uh, the dark side of this. So this person really shall get it together. I mean, I'm just saying. This is, the, yes, they're being called to have patience. They're being called to come out of their Eight of Swords because Eight of Swords see it there. It's next to pa patron, pa patrons, <laughs> temperance. And, you know, they, they're acknowledging that sword's there. They don't need to be up in their head. They don't need to be sitting here justifying nasty ways with illusions about what drama was brought. Because they're, they're in regrets of it. So they're not being nice, okay? And I can see that. As I say, what is going on in this person's world? Well... 
they were running with the emotions instead of logic because he wouldn't be there. He's running with the emotions. Again, their back is turned to the problem. See, the lightning bolts here. And see the lightning bolts at the beginning of this. That's that person. Still has their back to you. And looking at what they're saying and doing and not caring. Maybe even manipulating the, the people of their social media, of their followings, of their group. Um... I hope it's not you. Don't let this deter you from how you feel or how you're healing. Whatever this person is doing, that's going to be on them later. It's it's not nice. I see it. You see it. I show you it. Yeah. They, they're not stable right now. They got their back turned on every card to the situation. Every card I look at, their back is turned. See how it's different? To this lover, to this choice, to this situation. Yep. Because why? They That betrayal. The betrayal that happened within this connection. And this burden. Two tens, guys. No, uh-uh. And again, the back is turned. Or it would be like this. There was an end of burden and betrayal and deception here. On this union, backs turned. They're not even looking at this and they're just being nasty. They're not seeing their fault. And that's why I always say, guys, if you're over here, let's just do that. Because who wants to have all this? Who wants to sit in the five of cups? The only, the only card that's not turning their back on the situation and looking at it is the five of cups, which is regret. So you take that. Let them carry that around. Again, they turn their back on this uh, Hierophant connection. And you see, they're popping out, guys. I'm not moving them. There is a completion again, but the world, they don't even want to recognize that the completion's there. Guys, I think you guys left them and you left them pissed the hell off. The completion's there, but with their back not even wanting to do it. Everything's coming out. Hierophant. They got their back turned to the fact that this was a soul connection. This was a soul bond. And there is spiritual lessons to be learned here. And I hope you guys are learning them out of it. Because right now, all they do is sit in regrets, under the moon, talking nasty stuff. The communication is nasty. with the and, and they're looking at it. And they don't even care. They won't even turn and look at what they're doing and saying, nor you. So whatever they're saying on social media, hurt people, hurt people. But I wonder how they really feel. Is it, I mean, are they really just going off and feeling? I think they are feeling this way, but are they, how should I say this? Are they, okay, how am I going to say this? Okay, they, everybody has a right to the way they feel, right? But are they presenting it worse on social media? Or what, are they in their rights of what they're saying? That's how we're going to present it to spirit. They know what I'm talking about. They know in my head what I'm saying. Okay. They don't know. All they know is they feel some rejection. They don't want to look at it because that would have came up. It would have looked at what was going on and those cups spilled over. But no. They just drifting off and not even paying attention. They don't. Ugh. There is no transformation to this, guys. Oh, well, there is a tower. But I think for you to manifest new, because this person is not going to do the work that I want owning what they did and and even if it was you that did this the way they're going about it as far as the social media they're being very impulsive they're back turned again every card let me flip these over because of the way they are so you guys can see like everything's coming out with their back turn their backs turned towards you their backs turned towards the situation their backs turns towards uh you know healing this even with inside them they're turning their back on their own healing and they're spouting out, they're being manipulative and they're saying nasty things and putting them out there. I 
I do feel they are, you know, sitting in some kind of nine of pentacles. She keeps showing up in the front, right? But I mean, again, the high priestess, the back is turned. And you saw me twist these and flip these around. Yeah. Again, their back is turned on this union. And they're letting people know it. And they're not letting them know in a healthy way. They're not, not letting them know the right way. I don't even think that what they're saying, half of it is true. Some of it could be. I do feel that there was some wrong. We all do wrong in relationships, guys. It's us owning it, right? Like, I know I'm not perfect in all my relationships that have happened. I've played my part. I have apologized over and over again to these people. And if they accepted it, they accepted it. If they didn't, they didn't. But, you know, you played your part in this. But I don't feel you're doing this. Back turn to even equaling this up, giving it a new opportunity and equaling it up. Back is turned. Back is turned on the lovers. Feeling when that, yep, they'll, they'll, they see they're in a crossroad, but they won't learn to get the different perspective or else they, their back would not be turned on getting a different dis, uh, perspective. So their back is turned on this union. They don't care. They're saying whatever they want. They're manipulating. They're victimized. But they're not owning up to the fact they're causing a lot of drama. And it's they're going to sit in regrets if they're not. Because it's by the moon. They may not realize how much regret they're going to have after they spiel this all over social media. Maybe one day they'll learn. But, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I block and delete it. If I don't want people in my energies, I don't care if they're my friends. I don't care if I love them. If their energy's wrong or not right for me, I block and I delete. Like, and if I see nonsense, like, even if it's not aimed towards me anymore, my social media used to be everything to me, guys. I used to be on there four or five times a day. I'm on there four times a month now. Because nobody, everybody's being like this, nasty, and just putting their opinions out there. You know, exclude this from my, what I'm talking about. And everybody's putting a lot of false judgment on people on social media. If you have a problem with somebody, call them. Call them and ask them. Don't assume. Don't project out to other people. Call the person. And I'm sure they were not nice to you, I can already see. Chaos and conflict. That's all they're causing on their social media right now. Chaos and conflict. You guys can block this out. Do your meditation. Do your work. Do your owning. If you do owe them still an apology for your part in this, write them the letter. They don't want to talk to you. I mean... I usually write when... I know I've just owned it and said I'm very sorry or whatever. I've never uh, not sent a letter. I have left things unclosed. That's because the other, other people don't want to own something or they know they did something or, you know, they, they do something so low vibration. I'm not even going to engage in it. I'm going to block it and leave it no matter how much I love that person or per people. I'm going to block and delete and leave them out of my life. If you're going to come at me nasty and uncalled for, then that's what's gonna happen. And that's what you guys should do. Don't tolerate it. Don't be doing this on your social media. Don't be so sending low vibe, uh -uh, especially low vibe. There's gonna be a change in this, okay? I saw the chaos and conflict, which was a lot of wind and debris fly. And there will be a change. There will be some stability put to this. Okay, guys? Some peace. Yes. Thank you. And you will mend these fences. And, you know, you may mend them later on down the road with them and get the peace. And the, once the change of wind, wind happens, but you're going to have to wait. There could be some mending to this. Or maybe you're just going to put mending to yourself. And... Block it, don't look at it. That's why I do cross watch your heavens, and it's funny because I don't cross watch shit. I don't know what any of my family or friends or exes are doing or 
anybody in my life for that matter, partners, business partners, I don't know what they're doing unless they physically tell me because that's the only realness I want because I could see my family, friends, and other people putting up fake shit, making it look so beautiful, but is that where they're really at? I want to know, but I don't go to find out. Cross watching is one thing that I learned uh, when I did start watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I didn't want to do. I wanted to watch videos that taught me lessons about me and what I'm going through and not this black magic and weird things. I watch some really good guidance readers that don't just put a, a what do they call it? The tagline to say whatever to get your attention. You know, um, I will say one of my favorite readers have become Soul Source uh, Resolution. She's so good, Mary Jo, and she's so teaching. And she has great classes and things you could attend. Bubba Jo Lee, I told you. Sassy Scorp, she's a licensed uh, counselor. She did it for years. So, I mean, I watch people that give me the insight that I need to hear to fix what's going on with me because I can't fix the other person and nor can you. But this person, no matter what happened, whether it's a friend, family, business partner, they're putting out some nasty things about you. They will end up in regret because they're under the illusion they won't because they're causing internal uh, drama and they're ca causing external drama. Somebody's going to call them on this shit eventually, but if not, block, delete, own, do your closure that you got to do and move on. Especially if you're trying to get closure from them and all they're doing is giving you some low vibration shit. Yes, it's time to cut it off. Because there's no change when the other person doesn't want to. All right, guys, you be blessed, you be well, and bye for now. Please subscribe.